high sand ridges between them on which farmers settled. In 1120, the settlement came into the possession of the Duke of Brabant, on which he built a stone country house. The arrival of the Duke caused activity to pick up and the settlement was granted town privileges. The neighbours, namely Hosden and Holland, were jealous of the town's prosperity and sacked the new settlement. A new town wall with three gates leading to the important exit roads was built as a defence. The first town wall was six metres high, with towers spread along at a regular distance, surrounded by a moat. The wall had walkways along the top, a breastwork with battlements and arrow slits for archers. In combination with the water, the high walls appeared to be very effective to keep out hostile soldiers, robbers or unwanted strangers. The town's prosperity increased due to trade in skins, cloths, knives and beer. But Seto Honbos soon began to burst from its seams. The town was forced to expand outside the town wall. Far outside the town gates, a new parish church was being built, St. John's Cathedral. Only later, Duke John III officially commissioned for a second larger wall with new town gates. This second wall was later expanded along two main roads, Werte Einde and Hindhomme Einde. This expansion caused the surface area of the town to be multiplied by 10. Since 1430, the Duchy of Brabant was part of the Burgundy Low Countries, together with Holland and Flanders. During the rule of Duke Philip the Good, a powerful, prosperous and well-organized empire had arisen. A period when painters like Hieronymus Bosch did unbelievably well, and the work on St. John's Cathedral was continued. After the Middle Ages, a new age arrived in Europe, the Renaissance. This new way of thinking changed society. Gunpowder was discovered and bigger ships kept sailing out from Europe into the world.